Hello. Because we I already know we got some we got some good views. <laughs> we got some real nice views, bitch. Pause. <laughs> we got to pause. For all of you wives, mm. potential wives, Heavy side bitches <laughs> that feel like y'all got to lurk, not follow, baby seek help immediately. 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 Just, just go. You gonna walk from the sidelines. Yeah, I'm moving silent so you know I don't miss. Oh and bitches got a nerve to ask what's beef. What you mean, like a lion to a sheep? Or you mean, like a human to a beast? I want the smoke even if it ain't me. Cause I, I can't. Won't stop. I ain't. I'm not. I ain't. From Juicy Crab. I just love green mussels and it's Priscilla's first time hey. trying green mussels. Yes. So we're gonna see how she like it. And of course, I had to get, you know, my Mr. Seafood and have a good couple of drinks, but I got the drink. The. Casting over six, take a sip, bust your lip, mwah. Oh, line, but you feel me? 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Baby. Ooh. They Custom mom. drinks too. All right. You excited to be trying Yes, I am. I'm nervous. I'm all right. Let's go. Ooh. Good, <laughs> but I can't describe. What it does it? remind me of an oyster. Yeah, I told you it reminds you of oysters. Yes. To truly Thanks. like get to know you because we see the presence, the overall um, content created within the last year, and girl, your views is. Shabbat. Yeah. Shabbat. 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 All right, so like for real, who are you? Well, I'm Cassie B. Scott. <laughs> Not Cassie B. I'm Cassie Natalie Scott. I am from Brooklyn, New York. I came down here seven years ago for school. My birthday, April 3rd. The best daughter that sound in the world. You just a couple months short of the best zodiac sign. Child, anything after the April don't matter. <laughs> anything before after April. Leo, don't Leo, matter. Leo. Just a shame. At least your birthday corresponds to my birthday because yeah. it's August third and I'm April third. <laughs> we was never meant to meet. That's a coincidence. We met each other. I couldn't stand the damn that you go. <laughs> don't fucking do that. <laughs> Pause, y'all. So <laughs> I gotta tell this because. Then she left me for dead. Like, I didn't leave you for dead. You okay. Left me for dead. <laughs> Long story short, um, we were supposed to report back to the band room, and I was that one dancer that decided, no, I'm not. I'm going to stay. I'm not about to leave the presence of this older lady. Like, we weren't supposed to leave. The we had a freshman room. meeting. Mm -mm. We was already doing push ups, and Priscilla decided not to come back when we on. We had a certain time we had to come back, and we had to come back together. The Priscilla room. decided. Not to come back with us. So you know what we did for the rest of practice because she did not come back with us? Push-ups. Not only that, she didn't have the nerve to ask us the next day at 4 o'clock in the morning after not showing up to practice. Can you teach me this? I looked and it was her birthday too. I looked at her and said, no. She's dead ass. For real. Uh, dead I can't ass. even tell you. Straight, straight out of New York. Dead like, ass. Yeah. She was not playing. I was like, oh my God. They were mean. No, like, I thought. She didn't uh -uh. come back with us to practice. Uh uh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I was not a mean person. You wasn't mean, but you didn't come back. How was life in New York? Like, even a typical day, like, lifestyle, like, overall, how was life in New York? I would say you learn how to be independent in New York because you really know how to start doing everything like by yourself and then you gotta kind of get used to different cultures and backgrounds so you got you know the regular African Americans 
then you got the Caribbeans, then you got the Jewish, you got Spanish, you got Asians, you got all different types of people. Also learn your culture for yourself. Like I never, you just learn how to be independent. Everything is fast paced. So when I got down here and you feel me, everything was just so slow. I was just a little bit confused. Stuff closing before 12, shit, stuff closing before eight, seven. And then now I see why y'all, um, y'all so thick down here. Mm. Cause too much hormones in y'all food. Yeah. I ate the same. I ate more food back at home, and literally, like, it's too much hormones. Even my poop was coming out me when I got down here. It's oh wow! So weird. Yeah, it's so weird. Being from New York, um, is your favorite artist from New York? My favorite artist is Michael Jackson. Mmm. Yeah, all time. Like I love Michael Jackson. Like I grew up on Michael Jackson. What's your favorite song? Speed Demon. I don't even know that song. Then you ain't played Wii for real. I didn't have a week. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really want to be that rabbit for Halloween. You know how much the auction is for the, the actual Halloween costume? Is the costume? How much? $10,000. I don't got that. When I get rich, I'm going to buy that so costume. You get your ass on Pinterest. And they don't got it on Pinterest. What would you say is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a panda. You know pandas represent peace? I just like how fluffy they are. And it's a black and white color scheme. It's just so beautiful. And you might not know, but I feel like it's so peaceful watching them eat bamboo. Yeah. Like, you watch videos of pandas eating bamboo? I, I watch videos of pandas, period. But they look peaceful. <laughs> they do. So, if you had to tell me, well, I want you to explain too, but if you had to tell me who Cassie B is in maybe three words, who is Cassie B? Like, describe Cassie B. I am a little emotional gangster. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. I just came up with that on the spot. You got, no, 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 no. You got to that down. No, no, no. Ex was like, bougie females be like, she thinks she Cassie B. <laughs> so after that, I was like, oh yeah, the name is about to be up and stuff. I'm lit all the time. Well, honestly, I'm just a mini version of my good sis, Belkalese. If you know who right. Belkalese is, that's Big Cardi B, not the little one from the Bronx or whatever. But yes. yeah, I'm always lit. I'm emotional a little bit or whatever. I'm a lot of emotional. And I'm just a gangster. Like, I feel like I'm girly girlish, but I'm really like, I'm really a tomboy. Like, you are. You, you actually a, balance both. Like, real good. Let's talk fashion. Like, what's a typical everyday fit? Like, you go to work in sweatpants, a t shirt, and some flicks. Like, I go to work comfortable, like, every single day. Come to the occasion. And I like to ask my friends, like, what they're wearing when we go out just because, you know, the vibes. The vibes. I mean, I'm doing my step, but I gotta be stepping within the vibes. So right, I, I yeah. can't. I got a glamorous, bougie streetwear couture style. Ooh. A bougie for my mama. Glamorous, because I just love to feel beautiful. I want to try to see me in my natural state, because y'all not gonna see me glammed up every show. A lash or two, but yeah, this is my face. Streetwear, because I just love Jordans. I love sneakers, period. I can wear sneakers for the rest of my life. Really? Um, I love like, and even if it's just regular stuff, like regular Nike joggers or Adidas joggers, like I just, I got a 90s vibe always. Yeah, I, like I'm real versatile. And then couture because my mama, when she go out, she don't care. If the theme is princess for the birthday girl, so we showing up in dresses. Yeah, and as, you should. Jeans, like, as you should. As you should. We gonna show you why we the princess. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? So what would you consider your favorite holiday? Christmas what and Halloween. Christmas? Halloween. Like, if you ever look at my videos, I got Jack the Pumpkin Man yes. from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Because I just love Halloween. You, you see that? The night, it's a move. It, it was made for me. You see how I love Halloween and Christmas? It's Halloween and Christmas together. Period. You see? Is this like your favorite food? I'm not gonna lie. This is mine. Yeah, this is my top one. Yes. But I got three. Three? Yeah. Alright, so currently, what um is your favorite TV show? <laughs> Girl, what? <laughs> what what I was saying? Bridges. Yes! Oh my god! Yeah. Queen of Charlotte is C. Oh, like you, you really gotta get into it. You have, like, what is your favorite movie though? Superfly, the 2018 version with Trevor Jackson. When he in the shower. I feel like I know. The when he in the shower. I think I watched that version. That is why I need to get my tiger tattoo. Girl, so you got a tattoo. How many tattoos you got? I got six. I knew you ain't had it. Or no, no wait, Nubia. Just got here. She gotta earn her stripes, Ooh. like how um Casanova sits there. Okay, so what, what made you come up with Nubia though? Let me know y'all. Like, right? that's, that's like a 
name your baby. Like, really? like yes, that's beautiful. I think I'm gonna have to add it to my names list <laughs> just because you said that. No, for real, I'm so serious. So I was thinking about a YouTube channel name, and I thought I was like, let me take Nova away from Casanova. But then I thought about Fashion Nova, and I'm like. That should never be referring to their um people like no Nova babes and I don't want to be in no company. Let me add something to Nova so I came with the E like the new VA. Yeah. And I was like, then let's do it like Astro World. Let me introduce y'all to my world. So this is new VA's yeah, world. world. Yeah. And then y'all will be officially after y'all watch this video and subscribe. You're gonna become a newbie babe. Yes. Bing bong. Alright, so what time do you usually have to get up in the mornings? It depends. I wake up at six every morning. Like even, on your off like, even on my off days, I don't get out of bed because I'm only seven minutes away from work late. So, so you would snooze with I'm a long snooze, type of girl. Yeah. And, yeah. I don't feel like that at all. Yeah, no. I would stay in my bed real bad. Every day routine after going, I work Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. So going to work, sometimes I come home, I have a set schedule when I want to work out. Then, depending on how I'm feeling or what I'm finding or what somebody is sending me, I'm making content. So I've taken a shower. And usually I do a skincare routine or like, so I make some content. I brainstorm how the rest of my day is gonna go. I'm on Instagram. I'm in love with Instagram. If I could be like a social media, I'd be Instagram. I can't really do no work for real for my content stuff until the weekend. Oh wow! What would you say is like your dream vacation? Like, um, I want to go to Greece. Oh yeah, I want to go to Barcelona for real too. Oh, for the real I Spanish food. Spice person. I'm not a spicy person either, but I just love Spanish food. Like I like tacos. That's why I make some tacos. You, I like yeah, meat. you put me on that. Um, because I I hated tacos. Like you really? made me restart like eating them. But what is like a really big pet peeve for you? I got three. Oh, you was ready. I got three. I do got three. Okay. The first one, um, I do not like to hear people snore chew or something like that. <laughs> Um, I don't I don't like that. I don't like that at all, you know. She didn't do that on purpose either. That's the crazy part. <laughs> I don't like for people to use my bathroom. So I feel like if I have a guest bathroom, you can't use my personal bathroom. <laughs> and you laughing because you already know I'm getting it. I hate for when people um be like, hey, I gotta tell you something. Like I and don't tell them. Ooh, or hey, yes. you busy or take too long. To be like, yes, no. <laughs> That's like that's short, like answering, and I don't like stuff. You like want that. a full? I want a full explanation of what the heck is going on, and right then and there, I like intro, showing. body, conclusion, whatever you say. <laughs> so far, um, with the success of you know content creating, um, how do you feel, or what do you feel like will be will make you a better content creator? I feel like content creating honestly has like its own journey that you have to go through to get where you want to go mm -hmm. so i can't really say you what will help you become what will help me become a better content creator right now because i just want to work the process like i want to stay the course you know not have everything just given to me without working for it right so right. you can't become better if you don't work for it right. that's how i look at it some of your videos um because i follow you on tiktok course but have been blowing up recently um reality tv would be an option for you in the future no <laughs> no i don't want to be on the reality because reality tv is scripted yeah like you can't have it somebody disrespect reality. me and then tell me i can't fight because it's an insurance policy i can't i can't do stuff like that right. do you feel like you would possibly collab with other you know like content creators i could have a um like one person right now Honestly, like consistent money. collaboration. Like yeah, like we do this thing called shoe tags on Instagram, and like today I have my Yeezys on, so mm -hmm. I tagged her in a post, and then she's gonna reshare me in another post. Well, and okay, with the, yeah, with the shoe she got yeah. On. What would you say um, is the main reason that you wanted to even start a YouTube channel altogether? Like you already have a like a big social media pair, uh, presence on all the platforms you have. What's crazy? This is not my first YouTube channel. Really? You're not going to be able to find it. I made sure of it. If anybody finds this YouTube channel, I'll give them some, some good money. I promise you. But I used, I had a two YouTube channel don't, before. Don't stress me now. No, for real. I can find a video like, from daddy. You, know, you don't know right now. <laughs> the message that I'm trying to get across is growth and development. Mm. Going through like a young girl age, getting to this point now, how I've grown, how I'm just you know, made mistakes and I realized what my mistakes are. So my platform honestly is to just anybody. Like I want to get into digital products 
mm -hmm. down the line uh you know grasping hbcu students or just grasping people that might need some advice or different ways to like get through their day because you know i do a lot and people just be like yeah. i bet you manage like doing yeah. a lot you and yeah, i feel like really i could really sh like help somebody understand like what time management is you know yeah so i'm just in the different areas i want to use my platform for all of my specialties on your YouTube channel, you are about to be exposed to a lot of people that you probably don't know, may never meet. Like, what, like, triggered it was like, hey, I'm okay with, like, opening up and being open. Like, what made you so open to be able to, like, like, open up your life with us? My life is already open up for y'all. I'm an open book. Mm -hmm. Like, I like to have fun. I like to be about my business. I like to be about everything. So I feel like everybody already sees that. Mm -hmm. They just don't know the personal things that I get through and I go through. Right, right. So it's just like, you know, I'm okay because I've done a lot of self-evaluating. I've done a lot of reflection. Like, 2023 has really been a year of reflection. Yes. And I now I'm just okay with like, yeah, you feel me? I did this. This how I grew. This how I grew. This how I grew. Like, this is how I've matured. This is how I've, you know, yeah. elevated. Like, this is what's just me. And I'm a human. Like, it's okay to make human mistakes. Yes. But I was think it's turned out too because, you feel me, your girl is always outside. Your girl is always having fun. Content creating, um, it's very time consuming. I know you said, like, you're only able to do it mainly on, like, the weekends. Even how do you continue to, like, push yourself to make the content? And edit the content and post the content. Like, how do you I have a content like calendar journal type thing going on? So, like, even for my YouTube channel, I've planned up to six months worth of content, and then I got backups. Like, the next video is I had to make a backup for it. Like, mm -hmm. I just I write everything down. I just say, you know, this is what day you got to do this at this time. You got to do this. If you don't do it on this time, you better make it up the next day. But that's why I truly wait. If it's not something I could do in five seconds, I truly wait till the weekend. Cause going to work all day, coming back home, you feel me? I really truly wait to edit everything on the weekend. So while laundry is going, while everything is going on, I make time. That is so, very responsible of you. So if it's written down, it got to get put, you know, it got to get very put out. Very responsible. Yeah. Um, let's talk about this love life of yours. Okay. What's your current relationship status? Single. Me to date them, like I learned from past experience. Mm -hmm. Unless somebody say we officially, it's like asking somebody to be yes. your, it's like asking somebody to be your girlfriend. Yeah, you're gonna just sit here and be like, you know, you automatically my girlfriend, you automatically my wife. Oh yeah, no. So unless we both have a distinguished understanding of what's going on here, like we're dating, then you know, okay. that means we're officially dating. So like, what are like some of your love languages that you would say? Oh my gosh. So I like people like write me affirmations. Like I love when people like yes. remind me of, you know, how amazing I am to them, how they view me. Like I just love reading affirmations. Yes. I actually speak a lot of people. Yes. But I yes. love like just being in my love and yes. reassurance. Next, I like to be touched. Mm. Like real bad. Real bad. Don't touch me though. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I like to be touched. I like to be held. I love cuddling. Like cuddling okay, is yes. just me. I just love to be held. I like to be treated like a baby. Yes, same, same. And then lastly is quality time. Like I like to do stuff like this, hang around my peoples. But with my loved one, I like to be in the house too. I mean, we could go out. I don't feel like we need to be out with each other every night or like do stuff like that. But. Yeah, we could be in the house. Okay. So what would you say is love for you? Um, love for me is a great balance. Making a balance of understanding that I'm always busy. I got stuff I gotta do. It's also real loud. Like, I feel like I'm a very loving person to my friends and stuff. So I feel like my person has to be loud for me. Like, be don't be afraid to show me off. Don't be afraid to make it, yes. make it known. Like, that's my girl. Yes, like, yes. I, I love being displayed. Because I'm a display lab. Yes. For real bad. Y'all yes. find out my man, my man, my man, my man, my man. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I like it. I just like it to be just loud. I'm not saying everybody got to be in our business. Arguments and just going off on each other. I don't like that being loud. 
we should keep that in house but like show me them okay feel special yeah. what's the biggest state you ever been on i went to atlanta i know better <laughs> Because <laughs> I know you're watching. Comment if she's talking about you. You are. I don't know. Like, Best day. And this is from start to finish. Like, mm -hmm. this is from it went good. We had a good time. Boom, and boom. I went to Atlanta for a weekend with somebody. And the we met up at the Airbnb we stand. And we went to the I Pick movie theater. So, mm -hmm. like, but that's where you can eat food, drink, and kick it. Like, Ooh, like and it's cool. like it's a two person. So you have your own like little seating and then somebody else like on a whole number side wall. But before we went to the movies, we was pre-gaming together. And he actually like he actually put me on the Bel Air. Like I never jumped out there until that first time. Period. And then we went to the movie. The night was really good. And the weekend was pretty straight too. And I didn't see my debit card that entire weekend. We love that. We go real bad. Period. <laughs> All right, so who would you kiss? Um, not who. Oops. <laughs> Which relationship would you consider your favorite? Like, you felt like you were just at all like great vibes. Like, everything was a ten out of ten. What What year was that? Mm. <laughs> I'll say my twenty nineteen hey, relationship. Won't you? Won't you? Mm. Because nobody matched like the chemistry, I guess you could say that we had with each other, and we also had like a lot of fun. Yes. It was real authentic in the beginning, but then you feel me. Once it trickled down, you know things just went weary. But throughout everything, that was my favorite relationship. Did like, I still talk? No. Oh. No. We're not allowed to talk. Are they single? No, they're in a relationship. Okay, so. <laughs> With this being like your favorite, because I'm not gonna lie, I have my baby daddy was my favorite nigga. So <laughs> the stalk is baby, I know how that come. Do you experience like any of that? Like uh very, very freshly when we like first like well, not when we first broke up, but after we had went ways and things kinda came back into play because you know, he's with somebody. So when things came back into play, I never realized how much I was getting stalked until I started screenshotting it. And I still have all the screenshots oh, wow. of when I got stalked. When people like of the new situation basically came in. Like I have all screenshots of those to this That's day. That's sick as hell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, people are weird. I mean, you feel me? Shout out to our stalkers though. We love you. Big mom. It could be another chance. No, no, no. Uh -uh. It can't. You know, one thing I have realized from that relationship: trying to please somebody before, during, and after yeah. is a full-time job. I don't got fired from other job, which was pleasing myself. So it's just like you know, yeah, okay. it's a full-time job. Have you cheated on your favorite? Did you ever cheat on your favorite? No, I never cheated on my favorite. But I have cheated two times. I cheated in my relationship in high school. And I cheated in my relationship that I came to in college. That might have been worth the cheat. You know what? You're absolutely right. It was. <laughs> it, was it was a lot of cheating going on in that game. And that's why I was cheating. Because I feel like if we're in a relationship and you tell me I'm perfect, I'm this and I'm that. Why is you cheating? Right. And then, if, we gonna save that love triangle story for another Ooh, yes. episode. Yes. But, uh, hold on. Motherfucker can't even touch you now. Love that for you. Can't even follow me. <laughs> huh. um, especially how I look, how I am. Cheating put too much of a battery in my back. Yeah. That, that's when Cassie B really become alive. And After you cheat on me, then I should be given the opportunity to cheat back. <laughs> that's how I feel. You know, that's just how I feel. Because why would you do that? Okay. So, <laughs> why would you do that? Why would you when you're in a relationship, you truly are in a relationship. Like, you don't see nobody but that person. I know, and like, I hate that for me so yeah. bad. Because had you, had I, you know, known before that I don't need nobody for real, I don't, I'm loved by my friends and my family. I don't yeah. need to be loved by one sole person. So, once I realized, like, that was the issue, that's why I just need don't but you have not given up faith though right i guess don't no one bad nigga cannot spoil the whole batch no 
I can't wait for you to get to my favorite nigga on question. Uh-uh. Let's go there. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there any, like, relationship that you would, like, revamp, go back to? Anybody that you would give another chance? Disclaimer! Disclaimer! Tune into the next episode to find out the rest of the team. Bing bong!